Hey folks, it's Baloo here with a, a new Let's Play series here of Spin Tires. I am on the coast map for this one. If I do a different map, it will be a separate Let's Play series. My goal is to have each video be anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes long, and I have a timer to ensure that. Starting timer now, let's get going. I'm on the coast map, as previously stated, with a couple of uh, mod vehicles that I thought were interesting. Right here, I have my little car for... <clears throat> sorry. For discovering what's uh, going on out outside. And I'm packing some garage bits on it as well. And I'm not moving because what? Oh, uh, why am I not? Ah, there we go. I have the parking brake on like an idiot. Now, I give this thing about uh, 20 seconds before it gets stuck in the mud. The purpose of this car is to discover new areas. If it cannot get stuck in the mud. Uh, uh, nope, 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 not stuck in the mud yet. It's only a matter of time, and there isn't a diff lock either, so I do not see this going well. Well, check the map. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stuck in already. Okay, I'll go unlock the Type C, because that's a useful vehicle. <laughs> Unlike this thing that's already getting stuck in the mud, and it's up. Correction, it is stuck. Oh, no, 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 I'm surprised. It's only a matter of time till it gets stuck in the mud, though. Yep. So, for the moment, it's okay, but I don't see it lasting. Especially with a refrigerator strapped to the top of it, which somehow that refrigerator gives you garage points. Don't ask, because I cannot tell you how a refrigerator gives garage points. But it apparently does, and... Oh, am I seriously stuck on that? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 come on. Oh, boy, um... Oh, it's okay, it's okay. If it got, had gotten stuck on a twig, that would have been embarrassing for the vehicle. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, come on. Yep, 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 oh, we're okay. On the upside, this thing cons consumes very little fuel. <laughs> On the downside, it can barely get anywhere because it's so unstable. <laughs> and again, the extra rate of a refrigerator on top of it is not helping it any. Also, it's, it's being driven by a spirit, apparently. Look, there's no driver. That's kind of creepy. Its driver died long ago because it got stuck in the mud because it had a fridge on it, but... <sighs> yep, and uh, are we stuck? Yep, up, up. Come on. Nope, nope, we're not stuck. We were only very, very close to being stuck. <laughs> There's a difference. Not much of a difference, but there is... Uh-oh. Oh dear. Come on, back out. Come on, you can do it. Back out, back out. <laughs> Man, I hate this camera angle. The camera angles of this game. No, 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 not back in the mud, not back in the mud. Oh boy. <laughs> well, having this vehicle as one of my two starting vehicles was completely pointless. Uh oh. Come on. I've gotta say, I'm surprised it's lasting as long as it is, but it's really kind of worthless. Well, at least I'll have that truck soon. I don't see this thing making the river crossing all that well. Especially given it has a refrigerator on top of it. 
Yes, I am harping on the how ridiculous it is that a fridge gives you garage points. Uh oh. Come on. You can do it. No, no, you don't can. Oh yeah, you totally can. Also, you see that little cover right there on the um, trunk? That gives you repair points. And there's a fridge strapped to the top that gives you garage points for no good reason, and I'm probably harping on that too much. Oh, and we're... <coughs> oh, no, no, not stuck. Okay, this thing is just too infuriating to drive. I'm flipping over to the Zoom Mongo with the really oddly named other vehicle I've got. It seems like a cool car, though. Okay, what the heck is Arca Arky Wheels? Big monster truck wheels would appear to be the answer to that question. Jane Wheels? I'll try the Arky Wheels, because they look fierce. Why is it named? I don't know what that's named for. I also don't know what point it serves. Actually, I don't think it serves any point, so I'm going to remove it. Well, I can give it a couple different front bumpers for whatever reason. Oh, repair points. That's some... not that. That's useful, at least. Get some repair points. Get a big thing on the front. Bulldozer on the front that gives me more repair points. Snorkel, which again is probably useful. More repair points. And a garage trailer. Okay, this thing looks like it came straight out of, like, Mad Max or something like that. Which means I like it, because it's absolutely ridiculous and actually quite cool looking, I've gotta admit. Now actually turn on the diff lock, which the other car with the fridge on top of it couldn't do. Though on the upside, if you have you can keep your lunch in the one with the fridge. Oh wait, it's not plugged in, so it serves really genuinely no purpose whatsoever other than to look absolutely idiotic. That's not to say that the Mad Max mobile here isn't is um exactly good looking, but at least this looks like it could do half-decent off-road. The other thing is a sedan. <laughs> Why someone even met, even went to the trouble to model a, put a sedan into an off-roading game is beyond me anyway. <laughs> I really don't know what I was thinking putting that darn thing in here, because it's going to be completely worthless throughout the entire game, but oh well. I'm gonna try and unlock the second garage because it's much better placed than the other one. And, uh, still time on the timer. Go Mad Max Mobile! And yes, I do plan to call it that every time I refer to it. Uh, I will refer to it as the Mad Max Mobile. So if you don't like that, too bad. Deal with it. parking brake. I don't think I need all wheel drive in this segment. Going for that train. Now this is a this video is gonna be interesting. It's gonna either be really fascinating to watch, or it will be so horrendously dull that you'll leave it within minutes. It could go either way, really, with this. Uh-oh. Go for a four-wheel drive. Go, go, go. <laughs> now, the downside of having all this stuff on top of it, all the armor plating and such, is that it makes it quite heavy, which is probably going to be detrimental when I try and cross the river. On the upside, if it gets damaged, I've got enough repair points to repair just about anything. 
I'm still slightly confused, though, why just some steel on the top of a truck and uh, a big bulldozer thing on the front actually gives repair points, but, I don't know, at least the tires make sense for repair points, I mean, they're spare tires, you blow a tire, you fix it, that's good, but how some steel on your thing fixes anything is slightly confusing to me, anyway. This really does look like it could have come out of that new Mad Max game, though. It really does. The way, just the way it's designed, the way it's half rusted out. It just really is interesting. I really like this vehicle. Looks wise, anyway. I don't know how well it performs in actual mud yet, but... Look, if I was judging just on looks, this is really like a five-star type of thing. It's a really fierce-looking thing. This would also fit in quite well in like the Carmageddon games, because it's it's just that style, that really fearsome style that really would look good in that type of game. Well, river crossing, here goes nothing. Well, hopefully we get far enough to so I can at least reach out on the other side if I get stuck. Hopefully I won't get stuck though. Oh yeah. Come on, come on, you can do it. Last bit. Oh yeah, you made it. It's a shame this thing disables achievements, because otherwise I totally use this in all of that stuff. Not do I really care enough about achievements to ditch a really cool car. Realistically, probably not. Unfortunately, this is going to end up being doing what the sedan with the fridge on top of it ended up, was supposed to do, which was be my scout car to unlock the map, unveil the map and all that. Because I think that thing, once you get, once you try to actually get it anywhere with any amount of dirt or grime or anything, would just fall to pieces and get sink, sink. Probably because it has a fridge on top of it, but yes, I'm kind of harping on that a bit. <laughs> wow, this is really an uninteresting bit of uh, gameplay right here. Because it's just me going straight ahead, not doing anything. Oh, hang on. Vehicle. Even though it's probably the m most worthless vehicle in the entire game. That the truck right up there. I should unlock it just because it's there. Oh, correction! That isn't the most worthless vehicle in the entire game. It's close, but it isn't. That big orange thing there, that's the most useless vehicle in the game. That darn thing gets stuck every 20 seconds. It doesn't even... Oh wait, is that the one with the all-wheel? No, that's the one that's absolute garbage in every every single sense of the word. It doesn't have all-wheel drive. It sinks into the mud like nothing else on this planet, and it it isn't even strong enough to have tow anything. And I, it ends up just sinking and sitting there because I can't be bothered to keep towing it out. The only use I've ever found for that thing is to just have a have it be a big fuel storage thing that comes with the rain party and that can actually tow it out when it inevitably gets stuck. Now I need to remember where the garage is up ahead. Oh. Well, I, thankfully it's got the little picture right there for me. I'm going to say when I actually get this load to that garage that this is the end of this segment of the video because I've got a minute left on the clock. So, I'll get this load there, then I will end the video. Actually, so you folks don't get your ears blasted out, I'll stop the timer now, but when that thing goes off, oh my gosh. <laughs> I 
Oh, 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 that, that, that happened. Okay. Well, that, for a second there, I thought we were gonna get stuck. Because of the Mad Maxmobiles and a big uh, bulldozery thing <laughs> nearly getting stuck. And the new vehicle. And stop. And unload. Okay, I'd say that's it. that's all for this video. I'd like to thank you folks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And make sure to come back next Thursday. Because that's when I'm going to have the next part of this series I'll actually probably record it in a couple of minutes because I'm actually having fun with this one so thanks for watching folks bye bye